and welcome to Duke University. I'm Jules. I'm a senior majoring in political science and getting the philosophy, politics, and economics certificate and the markets and management studies certificate. And I'm Devin. I'm a junior majoring in biology and public policy with a certificate in science and society. Today we're going to be showing you around West Campus, which houses the majority of Duke's academic buildings and upperclassmen housing. We're starting here on Abel Quad, named after Julian Abel, the black architect who designed this amazing campus. Let's get started. Now, let's talk about where you'll be living. After your first year on East Campus, West Campus will be your home. Every student is required to live on campus for three years, but housing is guaranteed for all four. Your first year, you'll have a random roommate in dorm, and you'll be linked to one of the seven West Campus quads that will be your home for sophomore year and possibly beyond. Behind the Gothic exterior, you'll find communal kitchens, spacious common rooms, and air conditioning in every room. But with all the amazing spaces West Campus has to offer, you won't be spending too much time in your dorm. This is the BC Plaza, a hub for social life here on campus. We have the Broadhead Center, the Wellness Center, and the Bryan Center all right next to each other. Our award-winning dining hall, the Broadhead Center, is over here. And it's where you'll get most of your food on West Campus. The Broadhead Center has tons of options at over a dozen eateries, like crepes from Cafe, fresh veggies from Sprout, and my personal favorite, Indian food at Tandoor. On the top floor, the Commons, is an upscale dining option where you can take your professor out to lunch on Duke's Dime. And the Wellness Center is over in that direction. The center houses all of Duke's student wellness facilities, such as counseling, nutrition, pharmaceutical, physical, and dental services. The Wellness Center also hosts a myriad of opportunities that include yoga, paint nights, and mindfulness activities in the Sarah P. Duke Gardens. Here we have the Bryan Center. It's home to lecture halls, art workshops, theaters, the university store, some meeting establishments, and even multiple identity centers. Duke students are incredibly diverse, and our identity and campus life centers reflect that like the Center for Multicultural Affairs, the Mary Lou Williams Center for Black Culture, the Women's Center, and the Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity, as well as the many diverse religious groups active on campus. While the Bryan Center is home to auditoriums like this one and costume and scene shops for theater, the arts are everywhere at Duke. Just off of West Campus, we have the Rubenstein Arts Center, or the Ruby, which is home to dance studios, performance spaces, our student radio station, and design classes for all students. We also have the National Museum of Art, and we've had incredible performances, speakers, and artists come to visit campus as well, like Bernie Sanders, Nikki Haley, Karamo from Queer Eye, and Amine. Most of Duke's academic spaces, including our renowned grad schools, are stones throw away from where you'll be living and eating. Here we are on the engineering quad in the center of the Pratt School, right next door to Duke's libraries and the medical school. Duke offers all sorts of research opportunities in the sciences, humanities, and the arts, and many of our cutting edge resources can be found here in the E-Quad. Students have access to 3D printers, CNC machines, laser cutters, and various lab equipment. These buildings also have lots of study spaces. Speaking of study spaces, this is Perkins Library, one of the many libraries on campus. Let's take a look inside. Perkins has all kinds of study spaces, from more collaborative areas, perfect for dynamic group work, to floors you can go to when you need total silence to work on a project or essay. And when you need to take a break, Vondi has all the coffee and snacks you could need. As a blend of academic and social, Perkins is essential to the culture of West Campus. But of course, we can't talk about campus culture without mentioning Cameron Indoor Stadium. Behind me is Cameron Indoor Stadium, where all the magic happens. It's empty right now, but it's usually crazy. <laughs> Students get their own section, and it's always packed. For the biggest game of the year against UNC, students line up weeks in advance, and entry is free for all students for all sporting events. Duke Athletics is a huge part of the experience here, and it really has something for everyone. We have varsity, club, and intramural sports. We also have access to Wilson Gym, which offers tons of physical education courses, workout spaces, and even a rock climbing wall. As you can see, there are so many amazing things to see on campus, and we've only scratched the surface. Thank you so much for watching and we'll hope you'll join us here soon and discover what makes this such an amazing campus and a special place for you.